Hello everyone, welcome back to you learn education online channel. In today's video, we are going to see the general block diagram of transmitters. As we have seen in the first video, that is the communication system setup. So in the communication system setup, one block name a transmitter is present. Now what is the purpose of transmitter and what are the blocks involved in the transmitter section we are going to see now. Now let us consider a simple block diagram of a radio broadcasting system. So the radio broadcasting system consists of mainly three blocks. One is the transmitter part and second one is the channel through which the modulated waves are transmitted and the third one is the receiver part in which the original message signal is recovered. Okay, now we are going to see in detail about the transmitter section. So, as we know that the transmitter block is an important equipment and is placed in the broadcasting station. Okay, and also the main purpose of the transmitter is to produce the radio waves or modulated waves and also to transmit these modulated waves or radio waves through the channel using the transmitting antenna. Okay, this transmitting antenna, what is the antenna specifications that we are going to learn in EMWTL subject and also AWP subject. Now let us see what are the blocks involved in the transmitter section. So in this block diagram, if you observe, the transmitter block consists of mainly a microphone and an audio amplifier, oscillator and a modulator. Now what is the purpose of each block? Let us see now. So let us see the first block involved in the transmitter session is a microphone. So a microphone is a device which converts sound waves into electrical waves. In general, we can say that this microphone will act as an input transducer. As we know that the transducer purpose is to convert one form of energy to another form. And why we are calling it as input transducer? Since the transducer is used in the transmitter part, we can say that an input transducer. So the example of an input transducer in this case we can consider as microphone. Here, whenever a person speaks, the varying air pressure on the microphone produces an electrical signal corresponding to the original signal. So finally, the output of a microphone is a low strength electrical signal or a low strength audio signal. Okay, now the obtained electrical signal or an audio signal is passed through an audio amplifier. As we know that the audio signal generated from the microphone is quite weak and hence it requires an amplification. So this job is accomplished by using an audio amplifier or a multi-stage audio amplifier. So finally the output of an audio amplifier is having a signal with a greater strength. Okay, now let us see the third block that is an oscillator. As we know that the oscillator simply generates either a sinusoidal signal or a cosinusoidal signal. So the main purpose of an oscillator or the function of an oscillator at this point is to produce a high frequency signal. We are calling that high frequency signal as a carrier signal. So in order to perform modulation to the message signal, we require a high frequency signal and this job is accomplished by using an oscillator circuit. Practically, the crystal oscillator is used for any application. Now let us see the important block that is involved in the transmitter session is a modulator. So here the message signal and carrier signal both are applied to the modulator. Therefore the message signal is superimposed on the carrier signal in a suitable manner. So the resulting signal we can call it as a modulator signal and the process we are calling it as a modulation. Okay, we have seen different types of modulation that is amplitude modulation, angle modulation, pulse modulation and so on. So depending on the application type, we have to design the modulator section. And thereafter, the modulated signal or modulated waves is passed through the channel using the transmitting antenna. So these are the main blocks that are involved 
in the transmitter part. Further, let us see what are the blocks involved in the radio broadcasting system. So as we know that the radio broadcasting system simply consists of three blocks. One is the transmitter section, second one is the channel and the third one is the receiver. So in detail we have seen what are the blocks involved in the transmitter part. Now let us see what is the channel. So the radio waves or the modulated waves from the transmitter are given to the transmitting antenna. Now what the transmitting antenna will do? It simply radiates these modulated waves or radio waves into free space in all directions. As we know that the radio waves will travel with the velocity of light and that's value is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. We know that the radio waves is also called as an electromagnetic waves. Okay. Now let us see the last part that is the receiver. Now what is the function of a receiver? So on reaching these modulated waves or radio waves to the receiving antenna, simply the audio signal is separated from the modulated signal by a process called demodulation. So in brief we can say that at the receiver part our original signal that is transmitted from the transmitter can be recovered indirectly. These are the three blocks that are mainly involved in the broadcasting system. Thank you for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting.